911 wants the address of your emergency. Um, somebody just got stabbed. We're now learning more about the near deadly stabbing of a Florida teenager whose ex-boyfriend allegedly slashed her 15 times, now leaving her paralyzed. Less than a week before the attack, the victim's mother filed a criminal complaint against the suspect. And you said somebody yes. got stabbed? Somebody just got stabbed right in front of Tubby's. 17 year old Madison Shemitz is now being called a rising senior and star softball player by friends and supporters. On June 3rd, she and her mother met up with friends for lunch at Mr. Chubby's Wings in Poina Vedra, Florida. Not long after their arrival, the pair noticed Shemitz's ex-boyfriend, 18-year-old Spencer Pearson, sitting nearby. When they decided to leave the lunch early, Pearson followed them into the parking lot. What's the address of the emergency, ma'am? Oh my God, it's at Chubby's Wings on A1A. Chubby? According to an arrest warrant, Pearson began harassing Shemitz in April. Prior to the attack, her mother reported Pearson, quote, started acting strange toward her daughter by following her to school or leaving notes on her car. She alleges Pearson also harassed Shemitz on social media, even creating new accounts after he was blocked. The report argues Pearson made suicidal comments and struggled with mental health issues. His mother said she would, quote, handle it accordingly when told about the situation. But on June 3rd, Pearson allegedly charged Shemitz and her mother in the parking lot. And you said somebody yes. got stabbed? Somebody just got stabbed right in front of Tubby's. Okay, don't hang up. I'm showing you at 150 A1A North. Um, what's this address? This 150 you Valley me? Circle. I'm going to get the fire department on the line. Shemitz was stabbed about 15 times in the neck. According to a GoFundMe page in support of her family, quote, she will have a long road to recovery as she is in critical condition at Memorial Hospital in Jacksonville. Her family says Shemitz's spinal cord was damaged in the altercation and she's currently paralyzed. Her mom and another person in the parking lot who tried to intervene were also injured. According to the police report, after Pearson stabbed Shemitz, her mother, and that bystander, he, quote, immediately began steadily cutting his own throat in an effort to kill himself. Oh my God, he sliced open. Oh my God, there's more people injured. Officials say Pearson suffered life-threatening injuries and is now being treated in the hospital. He faces charges of first-degree attempted murder and aggravated battery. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.